This is a general simplified view of the special world I created in Lego Worlds so that I could build my castle on a hilly island. As you can see it has the main island in the middle of the sea while there's also another tiny bit of land perched right on the corner edge of the world but that was just accidental and plays no part in my building project. If we fly over the top and look down on the island from this simplified view you can see the general shape of it. But this is a much clearer image of the whole island which I was able to piece together from several overhead views from above cloud height. This promontory sticking out on the south side is where the spaceship always lands when we come to this world. As we come down to land we do get quite a spectacular view of the whole castle so I wanted to include that in this video as well. There's always a forest maiden around here, sometimes there's a forest man as well. But we'll head in through the gate. I think the first place we ought to look at is inside the outer keep here, which is actually built into a part of the perimeter curtain wall. In on the lower ground floor I put a door here leading to a basement like space, though it doesn't seem to be used for anything. Flipping horses are always wandering into here. Let's go up the stairs to the next floor. Now let's go this way. The curtain walls are hollow and have double decker passageways running along inside them. This is the upper passage just beneath the battlements above. But I don't think we need to go in this direction just yet so let's come back a bit. Stairs or no, we'll take a look through this door first. Now surprisingly this brings us out at ground level as well, despite the fact that we came upstairs to get here. But the castle is built on a hilly island as you can see, so ground levels vary all over the place. Right, we will go up that staircase now. Oh, I see I put some light panels on the ceiling up here. I didn't bother generally with those, they're more trouble than they're worth. Now you can see that this door leads out onto the battlements to the west. And this door on the other side also leads out onto the battlements to the east. Ah, that's a nice view from here over to the chapter hall. Very nice. Now, which door should we use? Actually, they both lead to the same room, so it doesn't matter. We'll go up this staircase next. Right, out onto this balcony. One of many, as you can see, at different levels. Cool, it's hard not to lose your bearings in this place, I can tell you. Let's go up this long staircase next and see what's up here. Hmm, a nice bench over there, I see. But no time for sitting about just yet. What's in here? Oh, nothing much. It's the L-shaped room. Did I see a bit of daylight over here? Ah, these forest maidens get everywhere. How are you doing, Missy? <laughs> Righto. Oh, we've got a triangular balcony thing here, I see. Now, where to next, I wonder? Up this great long staircase, I think. Hmm. 
Now, what's up here then? Oh, some crates of jewels here, I see. Good place to store them, I suppose. Ooh, another staircase up this corner. Up we go. This is a nice big balcony, isn't it? This outer keep certainly has a lot of different floors and levels to explore. Right, let's look out here first. Another balcony below the big steep roof at the very top behind it. Now just up these stairs is the tall loft at the top. That's full of crates of more jewels. And there's nearly always a forest maiden up here too. <laughs> Keeping an eye on the jewels, no doubt. Very often I find a forest man up here with her as well, but he doesn't seem to be here this time. Well, back downstairs we go. And down again. And again. And yet again. Showing off to the forest maiden this time, running down the banister instead of the stairs. What do you like? It's a puzzle remembering which way I came in. Ah yes, this is the room with the unnecessary ceiling lights. So this time we'll head out onto the battlements to the west. There's the grand steps up to the grand entrance on the right. Part of the grand royal residence building there. Looks quite impressive, doesn't it? So, let's run along to the first perimeter tower. Now, these towers are dotted all along this curtain wall, and every one of them is kitted out with a fully functional spiral staircase from top to bottom. Although all the towers look alike, their different locations meant that I had to tailor build the stairs inside each and every one of them to suit each individual requirement. And that was a massive undertaking that took me several months to complete. They all lead up to a flat roof with crenellations all round the outside walls and a small access turret in the centre. You get a good view of the Grand Royal Residence building from here, don't you? Very impressive, if I do say so myself. That's looking back to the outer keef where we just came from. I can't be bothered to run back down those stairs again, so I'll just jump straight back down to the battlements like this. On to the next tower and straight through. And up to the tower in the southwest corner of the castle wall. Through that and on up to the west end wall towards the tower that overlooks the sea jetty. Woo oh look, hey. there's Jenny down there. I'll leave it to it and get on with showing you around. Through the next tower. And the next one. And another one. 
and now we're approaching the chapter house which is like a massive octagonal building set along the curtain wall and next to the chapter hall. At battlements level we come into it onto this gallery all round the walls. On the far side, this staircase takes you up to the next floor inside the chapter house. Just a big octagonal room with more crates of jewels stored in here, I see. More stairs take you up even higher and out onto the broad, flat roof on top. There is a turret leading up still higher. But it doesn't really get us anywhere. So, let's jump back down and check out that bridge there, which spans across from this chapter house to the chapter hall. Interesting space in here. What's up these stairs, I wonder? Flipping crows all over the place. Aha! Hmm, a balcony. Oh, it seems to wrap all round the outside of this room. Oh yes, and back in through the other door here. Hmm, lots of roof space, but we don't seem to be able to climb any higher in here. So let's go back down. Well, there are the steps we came in down from the bridge. So now we'll go and see what's down this staircase here. OK, this little triangular balcony is right in the northeast corner of the chapter hall. And this one overlooks the garden patio, though we can't really see it down below from here, and the trees in the bottom orchard there. OK, ignoring that other balcony below the chapter bridge, Let's have a look down this intriguing passageway here instead. This was a little enclosed staircase I added as an afterthought to give us a secret exit from the narrow pointed end of the chapter hall with a choice of two different ways that it leads to. Down the stairs and then we have two alternative ways we can go from here. That way, up. No, we'll go this way, down. Ah, right. This brings us out onto the garden patio. A very pleasant part of the castle it is, too. Hmm. Beyond that ornamental wall lies the bottom orchard. But we're going to take a look in here first, for now. Flipping horses, they seem to have the run of this place, not to mention the occasional spider. Somebody seems to have left this door open here. Let's have a look then. Oh, we're in a kind of basement, with skeletons lying about the place. I wonder what the story is behind these then. Hmm, another one there. OK, let's go back up. And I'll shut the door behind me this time. Whoa, that was noisy. 
Oh, hang on. What's this little stairway here at the side for? Oh, it's a way out onto the north passage between the chapter hall and the perimeter wall. OK, I haven't finished in here just yet, so let's go back inside. That spider's still hanging around, I see. And down these steps we come out onto Chapter Square. There's the main doorway into the Chapter House from ground level. See, there's the bridge we came over earlier. So, let's have a look in here then. Ah, that looks grander than it really is. It's just a way into the lower and the middle passages inside the perimeter wall. This is the lower way, partly below ground level by the look of it. Into the next tower along. Then up the stairs and into the middle passageway inside the perimeter wall, heading back to the chapter house. And here we are. Like I said, that looks grander than it really is. So, up these stairs at the far side. And back up to the gallery level. Onto the battlements. And jump down to the North Passage again. I'm not sure why we've come back into here again. but it's probably so we can climb these stairs, even though we've been here already as well. Remember that orange arrow on the wall there? OK, we're back down that intriguing passageway again, leading to these stairs. So this time, I guess we'll be going up this way. Yes, this leads to the bridge over that big archway. This is it from the outside. And that brings us out here, into the Great Hall. This is probably the largest single room in the entire castle, and was the last of them to be completed by architect Stephen Parks back in September 2020. <laughs> there are three ground level entrances, one on the north side and one on the south. plus this doorway at the west end, which leads us out onto this piece of undulating ground at the back of the Grand Royal Residence. That was an unusually heavy-footed squirrel scampering by just then. Anyway, let's go back into the Great Hall and then up these stairs out onto the lower deck of what I've called the lookout block. There are some steps here, so let's go down and see what's there, shall we? Right, this is underneath the deck. And right here are a wide set of steps that are actually one side of a large covered bridge which I call the Barn Bridge. You may notice behind me here that there's a giant scissor arch that's very reminiscent of the famous one in Wells Cathedral in Somerset. But let's press on. Up these stairs here, there's a sort of wide balcony or gallery with more stairs leading further upwards. Hmm, interesting. I call this the Northwest Block. Another big lofty roof space, but it doesn't seem to be possible to climb any higher up here, unfortunately. 
Let's go back down then. Down to the gallery. And then down to the barn bridge again. Ah, there's another way out here. It's come out by what I call the little garden. But I see there are more steps down to a lower level here too. Interesting. But what's this? More steps leading downwards. Ah, another one of those uneven dirt floored basements. Though I see it has two outer doors in the corners there as this place was built on such a steep slope. Ah, hello, Miss Forest Maiden. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, this one's not inclined to chat right now. That's the other door leading back into that basement again. But instead, let's go and have a look underneath the barn bridge that we went over just now. And check out where this leads to. Oh, it's just another basement room underneath the lookout block above us. Oh, an intriguing little doorway all down here. You can see how steep the ground was here to build a castle on it, and all these trees were already here before I started. OK, back up again. Now this is an interesting area. That is looking up at the north side of the Great Hall. That big dominant overhanging window structure there was actually inspired by the city of Minas Tirith in the Lord of the Rings films. Then we've got these ornamental open cloister arches, which serve no purpose really, they just look good. <laughs> OK, move yourself horsey, I need to get up there. This is back inside the lookout block. Back to the steps of the barn bridge, but this time we're going straight back up to the lower deck where we were before. There's a staircase over there. So let's climb up here this time. Right, interesting setup in here. There's a big internal window over there with what looks like a ladder next to it. Up we go. Onto this little landing. Up these unusual steps. And up onto the feature that this block gets its name from. The lookout. Wow, what a spectacular view we get from up here. There's the tall tower on the northwest block. And then the magnificent back view of the Grand Royal Residence with its bridge across to the Grand Entrance block. We haven't been in there yet, have we? The towers and roof of the Great Hall. The Chapter House with its open bridge. Right, let's press on then. <laughs> Back down the ladder the quick way. Now that looks a bit like a stage there, doesn't it? This is my show, so why not? Yeah, man. Oh well, that's enough of that. Back we go, down to the lower landing. Back down these stairs again. Let's find the way out. Where are you going, matey? That's the wrong way. Here we are. 
Back out by the cloister arches outside the great hall. Then through this arch into the middle yard. Let's go into the great hall through this north doorway. Gosh, this is a massive place in here, isn't it? We'll carry on through and out the other side onto Horse Parade. We haven't seen this part yet. This is the back wall of the outer keep where we first started. I like the look of that covered bridge down there from the grand entrance block across to the Great Hall. That's quite impressive. Oh, hang on, I think we've been down this part before when we came out of that little door at the far end of the Great Hall. So let's take a look round here. This is what I call the grand entrance except it doesn't really lead anywhere apart from this balcony here. Hang on, there are some stairs here. Ooh, intriguing. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, a little staircase. And more stairs. Which ones? Okay, the grander looking ones. Ooh, a very fancy balcony up here. Right, I'm spoiled for choice now. I think I'll see what's up these stairs. Oh, blimey. This place looks bigger on the inside than it did on the outside. Anything round here? No? OK, let's see what's up here then. Oh, flippy neck. Which way? Up under the roof with this one. Oh, I see. A neat little balcony here. Right, best get back down there then. OK, let's try this way next. Oh, blimey. Oh, look, there's a big ladder halfway up this staircase. We'd better have a look where that leads to, hadn't we? Blimey, it's a long way up. Ah, right, another hidden room all up here. With a big balcony outside. Oh gosh, we're miles up here. Flippy neck, what a spectacular outlook. Ooh, don't look down there. What about the other side? Well, we certainly get a good look at the outside of the building from here. Some lights up there, but this is as high as we can go, it seems. We'd better climb back down. It is a long ladder, this one. So, up to the top of these stairs, then. I do believe this is that covered bridge between the Grand Entrance Block and the Grand Royal Residence. Yeah, it is indeed. So what's over here then? Oh, a choice of two ways by the look of it. Down or up. Up it is then. Hmm. Oh, right. Another balcony. Ooh, we're pretty high up again on this one. That's a long way down. OK, back downstairs we go.
Now let's try going down here. Ooh, quite a big space here. With more stairs going down again. And another balcony. A nice big wide one this time. Right, so we'll carry on down. Nice big room. Down again. Oh, have we been here before? We've certainly seen this little garden before. Yes, we've been down that way and up in that northwest block already. So let's try going in here, into the west end block. Oh right, this is a bit different. Up these stairs to where? Oh, a little balcony tucked in between two outcrops like this. That's unusual. A drop in the floor level here too. And a big empty roof space with no access up there by the look of it. Apart from that ladder on the wall there. What's this for then? Oh, another ladder. Ooh, a secret balcony halfway up a tall tower. That's a surprise. Well, the rest of the tower is just an empty shaft, I see. So there's no point in climbing up there. So I'm as high as it's possible to go in this West End block then. Hello, Mr. Crow. So, shall I wend my weary way back down all those stairs again? Or shall I use the alternative way down? Yep, Geronimo! Oh, mind the wall. Now where to? Hmm, do I really want to go back down into the basement of the northwest block again? And down into the sub basement? And out onto the northwest green? We'll head along here towards the lookout block again. Which takes us past the barn bridge once more. But let's pass under the bridge and up towards the end of the Great Hall again. Now we've definitely been here already. You know what? We haven't been over that covered bridge yet, have we? Come on then, we need to put that right without delay. Up we go. And along inside the bridge. See, we are on the bridge. And heading back into the grand entrance block. I'm not sure of my bearings here, up or down. Let's go up. Hmm, I don't recognise this part. Oh yes, I remember this room. Remember this extremely fancy balcony before? Where haven't we been yet? We'll go back through the way we've just come. I noticed these crates of jewels stored here just now. But we'll go back down here to the bridge. But then we'll carry on down these stairs. Ah, I'm pretty sure we haven't been in this room before. So this leads us where? 
Oh, into another basement. And I'm pretty sure this is the space underneath that huge flight of steps up the grand entrance. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's where we are now. And as we come out, there's the balcony behind that big archway at the top of the steps. That's such an impressive looking building, looking up from here. Right, there's one place we haven't been to see yet. Follow me. Across Horse Parade and round here. And down into the bottom orchard. See, below that ornamental wall at the edge of the garden patio? We never quite made it down here before. Plenty of apple trees down here, both old and new. Mind out of the way, Dobbin. See, this is the way back up onto the garden patio where we were before. Oh, sure up, Dobbin. Anyone would think you'd never been fed. Right, well, I think the only part we haven't seen now is all the grounds outside of the castle. So if we go back to the main gate... We can start here and explore around the outside of the castle walls. You can see how undulating and uneven this island is. This part is called the Western Downs. Nice view of the West End block from here, even if it is breaking up a bit from this distance. There's the jetty I built and the signpost to the other land across the sea. Looks like Jenny isn't back yet from her trip over there. OK, let's carry on towards the North Woodland. Through the North Woodland. There's the chapter house up there. The land widens out here onto the northeast wilderness. There's the chapter hall next to the chapter house. Oh look, here's the Red Queen. She hardly ever makes an appearance on this island, so we're highly honoured to see her today. I wonder if she wants to chat. <laughs> oh, we're highly honoured today.
That's the back end of the chapter hall. Hey, who's that over there? Oh no, it's that world-destroying Joshua again with his deadly Megazooka, and he's coming this way. Where do you think you're going with that then, matey? Oh, you needn't start eyeing up my castle like that. No chance, pal. I'll take charge of that, thank you very much. Nobody's blowing up my castle today. Mm, not fair. You can sulk all you like, mate, but nobody's blowing chunks out of my castle. Anyway, moving right along. It's a puzzle to know whether it's best to use the high ground or the lower ground through these trees. Oh, that's a boat like the one Joshua arrived on. It can't be that one, though. His was moored up further round from here. Oh, well. Ah, and here's the landing stage again by the main gate. So we've come full circle now around the island. I must admit, I'm very proud of my architectural creation in this castle. Like all my previous LEGO Worlds builds, it's taken me many, many months from start to finish, and I do try, as much as possible, to fill in as much fine detail as I can. Let's get the time-travelling bat drone out and inspect it all from the air, shall we? Let's go back to the early stages, when I was still building the curtain wall, and the full plan area of the castle hadn't yet been decided on. See, none of the keeps or the halls have been started back at this point. See, there was no outer keep to the right of the main gate yet, and no Grand Royal residence here yet. Just bumpy grassland and clumps of trees. All of the internal area was still just undulating hillsides that were dotted about with lots of trees. I built the chapter house here quite early on as you can see, but nothing else up this end yet. It seems really strange to me now, seeing all this empty space inside the outer walls and all these trees that I had to get rid of to make way for the buildings. There's the doorway out onto Chapter Square and the unfinished battlements creeping up towards where the corner tower would eventually be placed in this open area here to the northeast. You can see the middle passageway inside the curtain wall here. These nearest trees here are what would eventually become the bottom orchard. Now back to the present day. Looking beyond the main gate, we've got the grand entrance there with its fretwork balcony above it and all those quirky towers above that. Connected by that covered bridge to the Grand Royal Residence with its giant coat of arms in the brickwork. Coming round to the West End block with that little garden outside it. There are no shortages of tall towers here, are there? Coming round to the northwest block. Then another back view of that bridge link between the Grand Royal Residence and the Grand Entrance block. Looking down here onto the little garden at the top there. Then swinging round to look at the barn bridge between the northwest block and the lookout block. The big tower on top of the Great Hall, then moving up over the middle yard cloisters and the steps up to Chapter Square. Now a view from the north side. And back down past the barn bridge again to the northwest block. A 
and back again eastwards. The big overhanging windows at the back of the Grand Royal Residence. And the drone certainly likes coming back to this covered bridge, doesn't it? And over the top of it. And back round to the front side. Round the end of the grand entrance block. I think that might be the tallest of all the towers here. Unless it's that one, the middle one with the light. Not this one on the end. Another good view from the south. Yes, that middle lantern tower is definitely the tallest one. Looking down on the Great Hall and Horse Parade in front of it. Then there's the garden patio. Back up the north side of the Great Hall. The lookout. And the northwest block with its tall spindly tower. Now back up towards the chapter square and the middle yard. Middle yard is the bit enclosed in this courtyard between the arch and the bridge. This massive lantern tower here was a bit pointless as it happened. Chapter house with its bridge across to the chapter hall. That's quite a chunky looking building, that one. Down there is the north passage between the hall and the battlements. Bottom orchard. Then looking up to the garden patio where it continues round into horse parade around the Great Hall. The outer keep. Coming round again to the grand entrance. I think it's time we went into the song now. I built a castle on an island, it seemed a way to go. A structure that was complicated and would make a show. I started with a curtain wall with towers all alone. To make it like a fortress that would look to be so strong. It soon developed naturally and spread inside these walls. And then before I knew it, we had towers, keeps and halls. I wanted it to look outstanding with style and finesse. And complicated roof lines that would certainly impress. It grew and grew from countless bricks of stony grey and before I knew I built so much that I lost my way well nearly I put in several bridges to help us move around 
From one building to another, high above the ground, I thought they all would make it more attractive to the eye, with dreaming spires and dormer windows up against the sky. And now it's done, I'd like to thank you for allowing me to show you round. I'm truly happy to let you see. I hope you like my Lego castle upon its island base. I really had a lot of fun within this virtual space. I wish that I could go and live there, it would be such fun. But now that it's completed, I just think my job is done. So good night, everyone.